Welcome everyone to the session of the Messaging Layer Security Protocol Basics and Fundamentals. I am Divyang and currently working for Cisco Systems. What is MLS? MLS looks new term, but not really. We know WhatsApp is providing end-to-end -end encryption and so as few other apps as well. Right now, everyone is using proprietary protocol to achieve end-to-end -end encryption. Like WhatsApp is using signal protocol. And everyone has some or the other limitations. Like in WhatsApp, you can keep limited size of group. So, to overcome these limitations, group of companies and institutes like Cisco, Inaria, Facebook, Google, University of Oxford and WIRE came together to standardize one protocol as IETF draft. And that protocol is called the Messaging Layer Security Protocol, in short MLS. In this session, we will see what are the problems faced to achieve end-to-end -end encryption and how MLS is solving those problems. In TLS Basics and Fundamentals, we have seen that TLS or SSL have solved two major problems. First, how to exchange key securely. Second, how to manage identity to prevent man-in-the-middle attack. Both of these problems are equally applicable to MLS as well. In this session, we will consider only key exchange part and see what are the difficulties we will face when we will try to solve key exchange issue using TLS and why do we need separate protocol called MLS. Throughout this entire session, please keep in mind that MLS also need identity management separately. But we will concentrate only on key exchange part. Before starting our session, let's see what is the core of MLS. Asynchronous write chat tree. This is what a typical asynchronous write chat tree look like. Here you can see that A, B, C, and D are actual users and all of them have secrets as you can see 5, 13, 3, 17. These secrets are completely private and they are not sharing with anyone. Means A's secret will not be known to B, C or D. Still, the algorithm is designed in a way that each participant enter their secret and derive a same group key. For example, A enters secret 5 and derive group key 15. Same way, B enter secret 13 and derive group key 15 and not necessary that users have to enter keys at the same time. So this is called typical asynchronous red chat tree and we will see in detail how it is formed and how it will works. But before begin to our session one question. What is the meaning of red chat? A dictionary meaning? Okay, let me show you one animation. This is called red chat wheel. Can you see a distinguished property of this wheel? This wheel is rotating in one direction only and not allowed to rotate in reverse direction. We will see that how red chat tree will have this property inside. So let's begin our session. And to begin our session, Let's identify problems that is being solved by MLS. What we will do is derive all problem statements together and then see how can we solve them one by one using MLS. To derive problem, 